Oh, what's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, yep, father has sent me with a word, y'all. Now, I don't know who needs this, but God said somebody needs this message. So I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? And listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing the video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach, amen? All right, now, family, listen, I have already prayed and blessed this space, okay? I done welcome the Holy Spirit in, welcome the good Lord in. Y'all know how I do, right, family? But, Father God, I still ask that you step in, Father, and speak through me. I'm your vessel, Father God. Speak to your children. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, family, listen again. I don't know who needs this word today, but God said you need this thing. So I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it comforts you, encourages you, it strengthens you, and blesses you, okay? Y'all, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, this is going to be just what you need, baby. You're going to catch this thing in the spirit, all right? So, guys, God is saying right now, your suffering will produce a blessing yes whoever you are your father wants you to know baby he said your suffering will produce a blessing now i don't know who this is for i don't know where you are or what you're going through and this is a prophetic word guys so this could be something you know you're going through now or something to come right so just get the word back before god but i'm gonna give it to y'all how god gave it to me and i pray that it's a blessing okay so God is saying right now, guys, he said, because of what you went through, right? Because of what you've been through, the battles, the warfare, the struggles, God said the tricks, the games, the, the traps, right? The betrayal, right? God said, because of what you went through, you're about to receive a blessing. Come on now, the enemy didn't know, listen to this, he said the enemy didn't know when he had his hand on everything, come on now, when he was touching your finances, when he was messing with your family, when he was messing with your marriage, come on now, when he was messing with your business, when he, whatever it is for you, God said when he put his hand up on your stuff, he did not know he was setting you up for a blessing. Come on now, God said a lot of you guys have come out of a Job season, okay? Some of you guys have come out of a Job season. Some of you guys are coming on out, okay? So take this as a blessing, okay? Take it as a blessing, okay? Take this as encouragement, okay, for what is to come, amen? God is saying right now, he said you went through a Job season, baby. This is for all the sleepless nights, amen? All the tears you cried, baby. He said you're about to receive a blessing. And most of you guys, listen to this, because he's saying most of you guys, you went through, you suffered because you would not give up. Okay, you would not give up on the promise. You would not give up on what you prayed for. You would not give up on what God has spoken to you because you would not give up. Come on now, you would stop believing you went through right and god is saying right now baby you sold those tears and now it's time to reap in joy come on now he said yes you went through they may not know come on now but i know i saw what you went through and what you went through i'm about to bless you for come on now this ain't gonna be for everybody but whoever this is for i'm telling you right now child god say baby you sold in tears come on now you sold in tears and you're about to reap in joy I don't know who this is for today, baby, but if you needed this word, you know this is for you, baby. Somebody say, joy is my portion. Come on now. Speak that thing out loud. Say, joy is my portion. Declare that thing. So even if this wasn't your word, baby, snatch that thing out the spirit. Declare that joy is your portion. Come on now. That you will be filled with joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Somebody say, joy is my portion. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what you've been through, baby. I don't know how long you was going through, but the Lord has spoken. And he said, because you went through, because the enemy tried you, because the enemy put his hands on you. And some of us, some of you guys, it's because the enemy spoke on you. Amen. But God is saying right now, because you went through. Just because you went through in, in my name, because you wouldn't give up on what I showed you, because you wouldn't give up on what I told you, because you wouldn't give up on my ability to save you. He said, I'm about to bless you for what you endured. 
Okay? God said, I'm about to bless you for what you endure. I'm telling you right now, baby, God say yes. You cried many tears. Come on now. Many tears you cried, but you're about to reap in joy. Amen. Listen, somebody go down in the comments and type it out. Say, joy is my portion. Come on now. Say it out loud. And as you begin to say it out loud, you type it out. You receive it in your spirit. You receive it in your hope. The joy starts to come out, right? It starts to come out. And remember, joy gives us strength, right? The joy of the Lord gives us strength. So strengthen yourself today and declare that joy is your portion. Amen. I know some of you guys, you went through silent struggles. You went through silent battles, right? Now, again, God said, I know they may not know. The people may not know what you went through. But God said, I witness your afflictions. Come on now. God said, I witness the afflictions, baby, and you took it on like a champ. Come on now, whoever you are, God say, baby, you took it on like a champ. You was you was humble with it, baby. You was like, you know what? Many other afflictions are the righteous. Come on now. You knew. You said, I, I, but I believe in God. Come on now. I trust God to deliver me, baby. You leaned on your father to deliver you out that thing. Come on now. And he saved you. Amen. But God is saying right now, he said, baby, I didn't just save you to save you. I didn't just deliver you to deliver you. He said, I'm about to bless you for what you had to endure. Okay, I don't know who you are, but I come with some good news today, baby. God said, because you trusted me to get you out that thing, because you trusted me to deliver you, come on now. He said, I'm not going to just deliver you, child. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to reward you for what you had to endure. I'm about to bless you for what you endured. I'm about to bless you for what you went through. Come on, child. Receive this by faith. God said, I'm about to bless you for what you went through. Again, I don't know what you went through, baby, and I don't know who this is for, but I pray that this thing reaches you, okay? I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing to you, okay? Because whoever you are, God is saying, baby, you went through. Come on now. You went through, amen? You went through, all right? And God is saying right now, baby, you went through. Oh, thank you, Lord, because I just keep saying you went through. I keep hearing you went through because God wants you to declare it's behind you. Come on now. You is behind you, even if you're still in the midst of it. Come on now. God say declare that it is behind you, that you're coming out of this thing. Somebody say, I went through. Come on now. You've been talking about what you're going through or, 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 and even continue to dwell on what you went through, what you've been through that I went through. Say it's behind you. Put that thing behind you. Come on now. That God has delivered you. God has saved you. Come on. Somebody say I went through. Come on now. Declare that it is behind you. Come on now. Speak by faith. Speak by faith. Come on now. In Jesus' name, speak by faith. Say, I went through. It's behind me. I'm not going through that anymore. Amen. I am no longer going through that. Come on now. Somebody say, I went through. Then go down there in the comments and, and type it out. Say, I went through. Come on now. You went through the most. Come on now. You went through the worst of it. Come on now. You seen the worst of it. Come on now. But you made it through. God delivered you. You did not give up on the faith. You did not give up your faith. Come on now. You did not stop believing in the word. You did not stop believing in God. You were not, you were not perfect, but you were faithful. And I'm telling you right now, God is saying now, right now, what you went through, because you went through, I'm about to bless you. Because of what you endure, I'm about to bless you. Okay? All right, y'all. Listen, let me give y'all some scripture and I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all so, so much, family. I pray that this reaches whoever it's for, okay? So, God, God led us to um, 1 Peter, 1 Peter 4, verses 12 through 14. Again, for, uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 12 through 14 and it reads dear friends do not be surprised at the fury ordeal that has come up on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you but rejoice as you participate in the suffering of Christ so that you may be overly joyed when his glory is revealed if you are insulted because of the name of Christ you are blessed for the spirit of glory and of God rests up on you. I'm telling you right now, God is saying, get ready to be overly joyed. This is for those who participated in the suffering. Do you hear me? He said, because of what you went through. Come on now. Because of what you went through. And it wasn't because of who you are, but because God, the God that's in you. Come on now. Because of the God that's in you. Look at it. Say, you are blessed for the spirit of glory. And the spirit of God rests up on you, baby. The, the world don't hate you. They hate the God in you, baby. The enemy don't like uh, dislike you. The enemy dislike the God in you. 
So whoever this is for, God is saying right now, because of what you've been through, and this is some strange things, some things you like, you would have to, you would have had to be, be there to believe it. Some stuff you like, oh God, it, it, the people, when you tell the stories, people like, you, are you serious? I can't believe that could happen to someone right but god is saying it's okay baby what you went through what you went through your suffering is going to produce a blessing okay so take this as a uh uh encouragement okay take this as encouragement and strength for what is to come god is speaking in this hour and he said that you're about to get you're about to endure you're about to be blessed for what you have endured Okay, and only you, only you truly know what you have endured, right? You and God know what you have endured. So get ready, right? That brings joy to my spirit right there, y'all. Just to think about what you went through, right? What you have, we have been through. If if God is gonna give, listen, y'all, it listen, baby, something greater is coming. Get ready for greater. That's all I'ma say, y'all. Listen, I'ma let y'all go. I love y'all so, so much, family. I really, really do, y'all. I thank y'all so, so much for all the love, the comments, the shares, the new subscribers. Hey, y'all. The new followers on TikTok. What's up, family? I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for being a part of the family and allow me to be a part of your journey, okay? All right, guys. I thank you so, so much for the encouraging emails, okay? Thank you so, so much, guys. Um, your prayer requests i have received your prayer requests i have replied so i think most of them okay i am praying for you guys okay i'm praying for you guys keeping keeping you lifted up in prayer for strength and your spiritual your physical and your mental okay your mental and emotional help guys because i know um though i'm not with you i know that there's no no distance in prayer okay so i stand with you guys in prayer even if I don't reply, remember, I only reply to what the Holy Spirit leads me to reply to. But I am praying for you guys, okay? All right. I thank you guys for the sowing of seeds, your donations, uh, the gifts that you guys have been sending in. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for your generosity. Okay. I thank you for giving into this ministry, for giving to God's vision for what he's going to do here with us as a family, as a ministry. Okay. What he plans to do with us and through us. Right. I thank you. And I pray that God will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. Amen. It is in Jesus name that I'm praying for you guys okay all right family listen y'all go out and live a blessed life you know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing